Hey, whetstone. So if I put you over here, yeah, it does nothing. All right. Kind of figured. We'll go with that. <clears throat> That'll give me back some of my mana generation and improve our, our melee. This one, replace the top and bottom. Can we use it anywhere else more effectively? Uh, I don't think so. All right, Bandit and Slate. That's, what is that, Rock Throw? Tough, these hit points must be removed individually. All right, so basically I've got to hit them with five different damage effects. I could hit them for a single source of 10, and it would still only take off one hit point. So we've got to hit him five times. And uh, bandits, fleas if the adjacent monster is overkilled. I can't overkill this one by two or more. <laughs> okay. So that's not going to happen. Or does it count? Uh, yeah, I, I can't. I can't overkill it by two or more. Impossible. This bandit's not going to run away. Okay, so what do we roll? Most hit points. This is going to force me to chunk one damage into this guy as soon as I get him lowered. we got to take the shield two charged. we got to take the high hit points. Take the mana or... What do we got? Bard's going to die by one currently. Heal is useless. I need four damage to finish killing him. If I burst for two, hit him for three, then burst for two, then I need two more. One there, but I'm not going to get any damage out of that. Yeah, if we get the mana first. Let's go ahead and keep the mana. And re-roll those two. Helps. Okay, well that gets it in reach. So now he's down to five, so we can hit him for... Uh, they are equal. Is it going to let me hit him? Yeah, so hit him. Give mana. Healed up. Corners Tim down. All right, two damage to everybody. <clears throat> <laughs> Cantrip's going to finish this guy. Oh, come on. That's going to be a whole lot of shield. Uh, mage. Um, I guess we can burst him for one, and then any damage next round will finish him off. Yeah, it's not really going to matter. <laughs> Trying to flee. Sure. All right, mage. Come on. Come on. Finally. <laughs> it's about time. So the healer to a fae or the mage to a glacia. Is that like an ice mage? 
What do we got? One damage, weakened, single use. Target gets minus one to all sides this turn. That, uh, that doesn't seem... I mean, yay, but that doesn't seem... He's only going to roll one side, so that doesn't seem all that great. Nine hit points will be nice. Wow. Yeah, that's a big jump. I got to remember to factor that in when I'm taking a look at things. Uh, so mana, this weakened spell, a little bit of uh, shield with mana gain, and the chill spell, two damage, weakened, single cast. All right, so a couple of weakens, and then mana and shields, and we've got the item. We could swap out that for the uh, top and bottom, so two damage, two shields. So, hmm. Or the Fey. What's the Fey doing? One damage, weaken. So, I mean, that looks nice, and that's not limited to one per. Target gets plus one to all sides. Heal with a boost. Heal with mana gain. And circle. Self heal to allied sides this turn. Deplete. Cost plus one mana each time it is cast. Self heal. Also heal yourself for N. Hmm. Mm, that seems pretty powerful, but man, I would love to get this mage into play. The healer hasn't upgraded either. Well, a big part of the mage, though, is that dub more than doubling of the hit points. That's huge. So I can see why some of the effects aren't as crazy cool, given the uh, massive hit point upgrade. Um... Hmm. Yeah, so everybody else is upgraded. So is it, it's weighted, apparently, to give more of a emphasis or possibility for lower classes. Yeah, let's, let's go with the Fey. We'll wait another couple of fights to get the mage, and we'll see what his options are. I'm going to keep it as is. What do we got? Agnes, Githa, and Magret. <clears throat> what you got going on, ladies? We have one damage to all. All right, so... And when you hit that, two damage to the topmost. Okay. Summon a wolf. Oh, joy. Well, we don't want that to happen. Ouch. Damn. Geetha, you beast. Well, we've got a stun. Um, so we could stun Geetha. Uh, 
although she's only coming in with the uh Mm, I mean, weaken can be bad, but it's not the worst. Hmm. I'm going to keep the stun. We're going to stun Magret. We got three damage each coming in on uh, these two. We can negate all of that. That leaves just a little bit of damage remaining for me to play with. Shield of one will eliminate most of the rest, oh, all the rest of the damage. So between those two, we're fairly well protected. That gives me damage and... I'm gonna I'm gonna re-roll those two. Okay. So we are going to what do we need? Five damage to kill? I can actually kill her this round instead of stunning her. So we could kill. Weaken Agnes. So null effects. Other than, I don't know. I'm not sure if the top flame will also be minus one. Probably not because it's not affecting the die faces. It's a secondary thing. All right, uh, kill there, and Geetha, so we have no incoming damage. Looking good. One roll, cantrip. Oh, we got a re-roll. We got an extra re-roll. So many re-rolls. <laughs> Bless the cantrip damage. Uh, so definitely re-rolling. That's the heal one mana gain. Um, so I don't think it's going to make any difference. I think we're going to annihilate these. We'll keep the heavy damage. I need six damage. We've got six damage, so Geetha's already dead. Plus two mana, single use. That would be a burst for some more damage. Sure, we'll keep that one. We'll just keep cantripping our way to victory. All right, so we need four. So I got no mana. Heal mage. Uh, now I have mana. Forgot about that one. Uh, so I think we can kill them both this round. Oops, that's right. I got attacked down there. Um, how am I gonna time this out? If I go there and there, then there, then there. <clears throat> Syringe or pillow. I <laughs> can't wait to see what pillow does. So less than or equal to two heroes plus five to all sides if there are two or fewer living heroes. Wow. 
That's a last ditch Hail Mary. We're coming from behind victory there. Or the pillow. Add patient to the left side. Patient times two if you didn't use this hero last turn. So I'd have to roll that. Basically give the turn up for a doubling of the next turn. And what does the three pips mean? Hmm. I've never chosen this. I'm not going to go for that. I, I never assume I'm going to, I'm going to lose and I'm going to be down that low. So it's either pillow and trying to figure out how to utilize it or it's random tier four. And let's take the pillow, figure it out. Inventory, pillow on the juggler. Okay. So. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Ghost, whiz, and bones. Ouch, those look like big numbers. <clears throat> Going after my brute. Overkilling my brute. All right, what do we got? Ethereal, become immune to damage this turn. So we can do two damage in the first round, and that's the most we can do to him. And then we'd have to finish him off after that. Well, three, including the uh, cantrip. Uh, also hits below. All right, so he's hitting both of these with his four damage. Whiz. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so he starts in the back row. I got to kill the front row or use range to damage to kill him. Uh, it's done this turn. All right, all right, so he's concentrating and he'll be stunned if I can put two damage on him. Four damage and weaken. Target gets minus four to all sides. Heal three to all allies. Yeah, that's not good. Bone shards. One damage to adjacent allies upon death. All right, so when he dies, he explodes and he does a point of damage. All right. Got it. So how are we going to do this? We can already kill the bones. Obviously, we want to re-roll. Um... Brute's getting hammered by everybody. If we just destroy the bones, he'll be survivable for the round. I can't kill the ghost this round. All I can do is try to block or avoid the damage. Well, we got to keep... So what happens with this when the highest hit point guy is in the back? Is it highest hit point he's allowed to reach? I'm going to assume. So we'll go with that. Hey there, mage, with your sword chop chop. <laughs> Not going to get much in the way of. I think I'm going to take a re roll.
One mana won't do me any good. Hmm. I almost don't need all the damage. I only need four. Well, he's going to get forced to hit him currently. I don't know if does this count as an actual hit point indicator or is this separate? It does he have four hit points and then that's going to trigger? as opposed to five hit points? Or is this five hit points and this triggers when this is depleted? Is there equal hit points and I can choose this one if so? I'm not sure. That's gonna be a re-roll. I think that's worth a re-roll. That's obviously a re-roll, so it's just, do I keep this or not? I'm just tempted to go for the mana. That's true, it does tell you there. So, four hit points. All right, so that does not count in as hit points. He's at six. Okay. So, yes, he's got more hit points than he does. So, this would be forced to go there, and only two damage is going to get in. And we're not going to kill anything. Or I got to hit this guy for a few. But then I've got to hit him for one extra damage. I think I got to take that. That helps. Now I don't have to focus at him at all. All right. So the bones is going to die. Can't do anything else about these two. So we're going to eliminate that damage entirely. Um, <laughs> that's equal to your current mana, which is nothing. Oh yeah, this is my pillow. <laughs> I got to see how this works. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the shield too. Okay. Got to go there. Don't want to use him, so got to go there. That still leaves us just, just hammered. Shield uh, yourself. Doesn't really matter. Everybody's full. Uh, I should do that in reverse order. Get the mana. Now do the shield. All right, we're done. So we are not using this uh this this character. This hero.
Hey there, Mr. Ghosty. Not that I'm going to leave you alive. Six damage, eliminate. All right. Summon two bones. I would rather not have that happen. All right, so two damage kills that guy. Um, that'll get me the mana and the heal. That'll get me to two. I think we can kill them both. Or we can kill the ghost and stun the whiz. Pretty much guarantee it. So what is the what 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 did the pillow do for me here? <laughs> do I have to roll this two time two turns in a row? I don't understand what uh what the pillow supposedly did. <laughs> well, I'm not using them this round either. Uh, all right. So we are killing the ghost. No valid targets. Oh, that's because I don't have enough heal. Oh, crap. No valid targets. Well, that sucks. We're going to get two more bones. No, we're not. And it doesn't matter. Oops. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, the reroll. We just kill him. Who wants to? Uh, we'll let the mage kill him. Mm. All right, level 10 sniper, bones, bones, imp, bones, bones. <laughs> We're halfway there. Two for the mage, either the evoker or the sparky. Four damage to the topmost enemy. Okay. Mana and a spell. And then I'm going to have to get items on him for those. Electrical damage. Charge, single use. Bonus equal to your current mana. After you use this side, replace it with a blank. Hmm. I don't think I like this guy. Kill an enemy with exactly four hit points ranged. Two damage, two mana gain. Um... I mean, three mana for four damage. I think between the two. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go with the evoker. All right, so we got the whetstone, plus one to basic damage sides. But we could do this combo. Or we switch that one in. Oh, 
or we do that. Hmm. I'm still a little fuzzy on just what this pillow is supposed to be doing. Cantrips break pillow. Uh, that would probably make sense since we didn't see an effect last turn and I kept rolling the cantrips. Let's pull the pillow off. So it would be interesting with this one to get six mana. Yeah, let's give that a try. <laughs> so many dice. Uh, <laughs> overkill by three on my Fey, huh? And heavy damage to the brute. All right. Uh, we got two guys targeting the brute for six bones and bones. I can take advantage of the explosions. What's the imp? What are you doing, imp? Damage one poison. Four damage. Spiky one. Uh, all right. So damage the attacker for one on death, basically. Starts at the back. Got it. I think we'll keep that one. Reroll. That's going to give me five shields by itself. <laughs> Congratulations, Color Tan! <clears throat> Thanks very much, Anonymous Benefactor! So we got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the reroll. Take the reroll. Take the reroll. I think that's pretty powerful to get on the first turn. Uh, that we got to re-roll. Are we happy with, happy with Weaken? Uh, we could Weaken the Imp. That just doesn't seem like much for the round. Yeah, I'm not real excited about the Fae currently. Or do we keep rolling for the pillow?
Round is gonna suck. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can even survive this. Um... Well, hmm. Mm. The boost is only plus one. It's only going to get me to three damage. Three is not going to kill that guy. I can burst him. I can kill this guy with a burst, which will take a little pressure off of. I believe that's going on. Brute. Drop is three, uh, three energy. I only have two. Well, we're alive. Uh, two dead currently by a fair margin. Uh, top two guys are both focusing on the bard. Stun. I don't know if that'll let me stun the sniper. We need three damage on either the top or bottom bones. Hmm. Pretty much worst, uh, well, not the worst, but one of the worst rolls. Stun or go for damage? Plus two mana, single use. Um, I think I'm going to take that. Hmm. 
almost got him killed. All right. So take the mana. Oops. Undo. <laughs> Who are we going to boost? Do we boost for mana again? If we do that, we can drop kill the top bones. But I won't. Oh, I will have exactly enough to kill the bottom bones. Oh, never mind, I won't. Uh, oh, never mind, I will. <laughs> Two and one. And stun the sniper. Look at that. <clears throat> I was sweating a little bit at the start of that one. Ornate Hilt or Fearless. Hey there, Fearless. So plus one max hit points. Replace the rightmost side with stun an enemy with equal or less hit points. That seems pretty good. Add self shield to all damage sides. Also shield yourself for N. Wow, uh, that sounds even better. This one does work with dancer. What do you mean dancer? You mean juggler? <laughs> These things? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's going to be really interesting. As many re-rolls as I take on that. Okay, Spiker and Sniper. Big hitters. So uh, the cantrip effect went off. We didn't get uh, any of this effect. So I assume it's just when I actually use the die, we get the, uh, the ornate hilt bonus. Not on all of the cantrip firings. Okay. Keep the two mana. Or hope for another pillow. Oh, yeah, you're correct. Uh, I forgot about that. We hit the spiker, so it did actually protect. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. I don't mind backseating on this kind of game with uh, all the different combos and that. <clears throat> Backseat away. Um, do let's. So we got to get rid of the spiker before we can get the sniper, unless we have some other ability that'll pass through. Go to the back row. Hmm. So spiker. Spiky on hit damage the attacker for two. So every time we hit him, we're going to get hit for two. So we want to hit him big. So just big damage. And yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Would weaken lessen the spike damage? So instead of two damage, I would take one damage? Or is it only on his attack? I 
Uh, probably just the attack because it's adjusting the sides. <laughs> I'm gonna die to the cantrips. <laughs> At least we're only taking one because of the bonus. Okay, so give me my mana. Give me my mana. Drop the sniper. That gets rid of the back road danger. Then we're gonna boost you. Hit him. Cancel. Shield you. Then hit him. Owie. All right. Uh, he's at what? Six? So we can stun him successfully. I shouldn't need it, but we'll take that. We'll take that. Um... <laughs> so much for rolling for damage. <laughs> that drop spell's coming in pretty handy. Who we got? Brute to a Wanderer, Bard to a Stalwart. Look at that protection value. That's quite the shift. Um, so this is what? Shield two with cleave, meaning I could, I could shield for two up to three of my characters. Shield three cleanse, reduce negative effects by three. Poisoned, weakened, petrified, inflicted. I haven't got too many of those hitting me so far, but they're probably on the way. Shield two double use can be used twice in a turn. All right, so basically I could shield two different characters. My choice for two. Five damage exert. Replace all sides with blanks until the end of next turn. That's pretty cool. That's an interesting effect for a die. I could exert myself for uh, do five damage, but then it wipes out all the sides. So it basically takes away the next turn. I like that. Currently, I'm getting a fair amount of use out of the bonus mana and the re-roll. The rest eh, hasn't been that effective so far. And then we have the Wanderer. So right now we're kind of a mix. A lot of offense, a little bit of defense, plus the stun, which has been fairly impactful. We'd gain one hit point. Two and Era, plus one at the end of each turn. So it gets stronger and stronger the longer he's up, huh? One damage, inflict pain, single use, add pain to the target sides for a turn. Uh, replace it with a blank. So I'd have to go find out what pain does. It doesn't tell me. Quad use, can be used four times in a turn, so I can pick damage four times. And then two blanks, but we could fill in.
Hmm. What does pain do? <laughs> Where would I find info on it? Can't hyperlink on that. Hmm. I don't know. Pain equals self damage. Uh, add pain to target's sides for a turn. How is that useful? He's only going to get to want use one side. I don't understand the value there. Well, I understand they do damage to themselves, but it's only going to last for one turn. Or is it permanent? It says add pain to target sides for a turn. So it's only going to do two damage. Unless pain is like per per dot or per per tick so if they hit me for three they take three or something like that I, I don't understand the value of this if it's just one point hmm I don't know. I'm I'm looking at I think Stalwart's going to be a bigger benefit even though I lose access to the reroll. This is an awful lot of protection. Um plus it raises hit points by 3. We get a one hit point raise here. I agree. My preference is always to kill the other guy. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll give it a try. I'm I'm gonna try it more because I'm curious. This is uh, I do a lot of damage with this guy, but I kind of don't like the forced hit hit the strongest guy from these damage points. So this will let me strike anybody and after the first round it'll be up to well when i if i use it it'll be up to the same value without having that restriction and i'm curious what the pain's going to do so. decision made whoa rotten and bones that's uh that's a whole lot of bad guy there